Hi guys, today we are doing a Scarlett Johansson inspired makeup look from the premiere of her new movie, He's Just Not That Into You. Melissa's gonna help us get the look. Um, Scarlett Johansson has currently gone from blonde to brunette, so her makeup look has been modified if you've seen her recently. And the product that we're gonna use is mostly L'Oreal as she is the spokesmodel for L'Oreal. So we are gonna start off with a concealer and this is by L'Oreal. It is nude and we're going to bring it under the eyes. We're using a concealer brush and then we're gonna blend this all out with a sponge and our foundation afterwards. Now we're gonna do an all over foundation and we're gonna apply it with a sponge and this is uh, the True Match by L'Oreal and the color is warm. It's got a really nice natural coverage to it and so we don't have to put it on too heavy. Just put it on with the sponge, blend it in with our concealer. Now we're gonna set the concealer and foundation with a powder and it's called Super Blendable Powder, again by L'Oreal and the shade is in warm. And I'm just using a pretty small amount on the sponge and it's just gonna blend everything a bit more, set everything, just make it last a little bit longer. So we're gonna start on the eyebrows for her look and we're gonna darken them just a little bit. She's got uh, quite pronounced, quite dark eyebrows now with her brunette hair. And I'm doing this with a dark, dark brown eyeshadow on a small brush and that's my little trick when you're going for a darker eyebrow look just because it's easy to be safe and careful with it you can get the exact amount on that you want now the shadow quad that we're using is by l'oreal and it's called a little bit of glitz and we're going to take the lightest color and just put it up into the brow bone area Then we are taking the second lightest color in that quad and it's gonna go over the entire lid and even right up into the brow area just to blend that in. And we're gonna take it from corner to corner, give it good coverage right into the corner there. Now we're taking our third darkest color, a bit of a thinner brush, and we are gonna create a V along the lash line and right into the crease and we're gonna take it all the way around. We're just gonna leave this middle area not so covered. And then I'm just gonna give that all a blend. You can draw right down from your eyebrow highlight right down into it. Then I'm gonna go back over with my second lightest, the second one that I use with a tiny brush. And we're gonna create just a little bit more of highlight Going to bring it right into the corner of the eye and just right into that middle area there. So the black eyeliner is a big part of this look and this is L'Oreal. It is called Pencil Perfect and the color is Ebony and she's got on a pretty thick line of eyeliner. It is a pencil eyeliner. This one goes on nice and smooth. It's a really great eyeliner. We're going to keep it a little bit thicker on this end, a little bit wider. And then you can get a bit thinner as you go to the corner of the eye and you're gonna take it almost right down into the corner. And then again, it thickens towards the end. And then you can take a blending brush and just give your eyeliner a nice blend, blend it right into the eyelashes. And we're just gonna really quickly under the eye put the uh, second darkest brown eyeshadow on with a small brush. It just looks like it's a really light line of brown. So we're just gonna make it really subtle. And then of course, mascara. This is Black is Black L'Oreal Voluminous. And it's a really great mascara. It goes on nice and smooth, pretty clump free. And we need pretty good coverage for this look. To get Scarlet Sheen that she has the really fresh look, we're gonna use some glitter. We're gonna use it on the apple of the cheek and we put a little bit across the forehead. 
and that gives you the highlight that she's got that really glowing sort of look and then right on top of that we're using a rose colored blush and we'll put a bit on the apple and then concentrate it up on the cheekbone a little bit into the temple and right into the hairline for the lips i'm first going to put on almost a sheer gloss it's got a bit of a shimmer to it and this is just going to sort of add to the pouty look and just give me a nice base to work with for the second coat the overall lip color it's by smashbox it's called radiant and it matches the the cheek color and i think it's as close to the color as she's wearing at the premiere and we're going to just get it on pretty thick it's nice and shiny i love the smashbox lip gloss and that completes our scarlett johannesson look from the premiere of he's just not that into you it was gorgeous makeup that she was wearing. And thank you so much, Melissa. Thanks. I think you look just like Scarlett. <laughs>